This video is just going over sex linkage questions, so it's particular genetic crosses that you sometimes encounter in the Leaving Cert and it's probably worth your while revising. So start at the very beginning, what is sex linkage? It's when the gene for a particular condition is located on a sex chromosome that is either an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. So you remember from sex determination that females have two X chromosomes and males have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. It's important to note that the Y chromosome is shorter than the X chromosome. Many sex link conditions are associated with a gene only on the X chromosome. And because males only have one X chromosome, the chances of inheriting a sex link condition is far greater for males. One sex link condition is haemophilia. It's a blood clotting disorder and the gene is carried on the X chromosome. It's a recessive disorder, meaning that the females would need to inherit two recessive alleles, both on the X chromosomes, so one from the male and one from the female. Another scenario is the female inherits a dominant allele on one X chromosome and a recessive on the other and therefore has not got the condition but is a carrier. Or the female could inherit two dominant alleles, one from the mother and one from the father, and therefore is not a carrier and does not have the condition. So what's the situation with males and haemophilia? Well, males have the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. Remember, it's a recessive disorder and the gene is carried on the X chromosome, which means that the males only have to receive one copy of the recessive allele and they have the condition. So this male inherited the X chromosome with the recessive allele from his mother and the Y chromosome from his father. Whereas this individual did receive the X chromosome from his mother, but on that X chromosome was the dominant allele, so this male does not have haemophilia. So let's take a look at 2008 higher level. The old questions are generally really worth your while going over. So a haemophiliac male was crossed with a heterozygous normal female, and it's always worth doing a Punnett square just to help yourselves out, so that's why I've added this. So the first place you start is you start with the sex chromosomes. So write in XX for a female and XY for the male. So we start off with our male who has haemophilia. So a male is XY. This is a sex link condition and it's a recessive disorder. So because this is a male, he's XY. And because he does have haemophilia, we have to give him a small n. And in this year, they use the terms normal, meaning you did not have haemophilia. And that's why the letters n were used. So in this case, this is what the marking scheme stated. So the haemophiliac male is crossed with a heterozygous female. So this female does not have haemophilia, but she does carry the condition. So she is XX because she's female and she's heterozygous. So she has the dominant allele, capital N, and she has also a copy of the recessive allele on the other chromosome, a small n. So let's cross the male and the female. So the first offspring is XX. So this is a female. She inherits the dominant allele from the mother and the recessive allele from the father. So this is going to be a female that is normal but carries the condition. The next possible offspring will be a male because of the X and the Y chromosome. And in this particular male, the male inherits the dominant allele from the mother and no allele from the father for a haemophilia. So it's a normal male, a male without haemophilia. The next offspring will be a female, XX. So inherits the X from the mother and the father. And each of these X chromosomes has the recessive allele, the allele that does result in haemophilia. So because this female inherits both copies of the recessive allele, this female has the condition. The final offspring is a male, XY. And this time the male inherits the X chromosome with the recessive allele from the mother. And so this is a male with haemophilia. When you look at sex linkage and you look at the official marking schemes for previous questions, you'll often see that the letter N, normal and not normal, is associated with having the condition or not having the condition. However, you could be given a scenario where they actually do give you the letters associated with the trait and you just have to know, for example, this is haemophilia, that capital H would be the dominant allele and small h would be the recessive allele. So this is another question from 2005 and it's the higher level paper and it's section C of question 10. So red green colour blindness is a sex or X linked condition. This is so they've told you that it's X on the X chromosome. Normal red green vision results from the possession of the dominant allele. So here they've given you the letter that they wanted to use. They wanted to use C. And in each of the following cases, give the genotypes of the mother and of the father. So we're going to start off with a family in which one daughter is red green colour are blind and one daughter is normal so she does not have the condition. 
So start off by drawing your Punnett square and then writing in everything you've been given. So you've been told that there are two daughters, so you have to write in two X's. So female is XX. So one of those X's comes from the mother and one comes from the father. So we know that one of the females does have the condition. So we'll do that first. So this female has two small C's. So one of those C's came from the mother and the other had to have come from the father. So we now know as well that if the other sister XX, she would have to have one of the small C's from the father and she is normal so she'd had to have gotten one of the C's dominant allele from the mother. So the genotype of the mother and father are XX for the mother and she has one capital C and one small lowercase c and then XY for the father and he has the condition so he's donating a lowercase c. So the second part of that question was a family in which all of the sons are red, green, colour blind and all of the daughters are carriers, heterozygous. So what is the genotype of the parents? Firstly, draw your Punnett square and put in the offspring. So we know that they have two sons, X, Y, and those sons do have haemophilia. So they have both the lowercase c. They also have two daughters, two XXs, and each of those are heterozygous. So they have a big c and a little c. So the sons are male because they have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. The X chromosome came from the mother or the female and the Y chromosome had to have come from the father. So we know that because both sons have the condition, they had to have received the recessive allele, the small c on the X chromosome from their mother. So we know the mother has one X chromosome with a recessive allele. And then we look at the daughters. So the daughters were all heterozygous. They had that X chromosome from their father with the big C and they also would have had to have received an X chromosome with a recessive allele from their mother. So the father had the X chromosome with the dominant allele and then the Y chromosome and the mother had two X chromosomes both with recessive alleles. So this is how you write down the genotype of the mother and the father. So they were all the questions I could find on sex linkage. And bear in mind that you could be asked to actually draw the chromosomes. So practice that as well. So best of luck. If I was you, I would do 2005 question 10, that whole question. It's a pretty good one. And I think a lot of the things that are mentioned in that question are worth revising. So good luck with all of that revision. Any icons used are from the Noun Project. I'm a pro member, but I still want to give credit. Best of luck.